Hey, what is up, YouTube? Sunslot here, and today I'm once again playing World of Warcraft. I'm playing some Battlegrounds on my Warlock, and I had this really interesting game where everything was going fine. It was looks it always looked like it was going my way, and but something very interesting happened, and I would like to share this with you. So at the beginning here, uh, we can easily see that the enemy uh, flag carriers ran right into my arms practically and it was super easy I just put out like three dots on him and he was dead before he, he even knew what happened to him and we could easily return the flag and I'm pretty sure here that we get the flag into our base uh, I think so but uh, if I'm just gonna talk about what happened in this game was that uh, as a warlock, uh, Affliction, uh, that, is, that is my main character, I'm not the best uh, person to carry the flag by my own. So what I usually like to do is more move around with some other uh, uh, team players and try to more kill off the enemy players and kill out their flag carrier if they have one. Try to more like open up the map for the rest of the team who is better at carrying the flag so they have a better chance of retreat uh, putting it in yeah uh, so that's what I did and uh, at the start here it went super well uh, they had like no chance me and I think it's a hunter and priest maybe uh, was uh, earlier we just move around and killed almost anything and it took extreme long for, uh, for us uh, to die and I thought we had this game lagging like, a little like re already a one but as i as you all probably all have uh, experienced before is that uh, world of warcraft and especially when you play pvp uh, is a game where everything can, can change in like just a couple of seconds uh, with one prayer uh, move one wrong spell used or something like that and that's kind of what happened here so once again we're just moving around i think we yeah we received first flag looks like and yeah so th this is what we did I, I just went around I moved and always trying to kill the enemy players and and what I also do, so did was trying to uh, keep an eye on the map and stuff to uh, the mini map and also if they had a, uh, one of our flags to try to yeah, tr try to take it but at this point it all went so it went so well for for us so the only thing i focused on was like trying to get more kills and that's the wrong thing to do uh, as you see here they they have one of our flags and instead of trying to maybe move back and trying to find their carrier i just kept moving up on uh, under their spawn point here and trying to get more and more kills and uh, like kill blows and more damage out and stuff and that's that's wrong uh, that's not what you uh, are supposed to do because uh, to win battlegrounds I have noticed because I've been since I've been back in Wall of the Draenor I had took a big break between uh, Pandaria and uh, uh, Warlords uh, I've noticed that and it's probably had been uh, the, uh, like this before but one of the main things you're supposed to do and if you do this you will win at, at least more than half of your games when you play Battlegrounds is go for the objectives all the time. Just if you're playing uh, like capture the flag, uh, just go for the flag all the time. If if, uh, if you're alone and you're a warlock, the, just don't give, don't care about that. Just take grab the flag and keep running. If you have like someone who's better at carrying like a death knight warrior, maybe even a rogue or something, just give the flag to them and let them run with it. Or if they, if you see that the enemy uh, flag player is coming, just go for him, kill him. If you are playing like Arata Basin, I think it's called, uh, just go f to capture the the enemy f flags and bases or uh, whatever you want to call it, and just keep uh, running around and take them. You can also defend if you have like uh, three out of five uh, on that map. Or if you are playing um, Strand of the a Strand of the Ancients, Ancient, I think, yeah. Just go for the gate. Just take, pick up bombs, run back, get more demolitioners. Just do everything you can to just push up and uh, try to put pressure and uh, grab the enemy, uh, destroy the enemy the gates. And that's what you have to do. Just, just push for the objectives. Yeah, 
And the only reason why I would say that you have to stand, stop and kill the enemies is if they are getting in your way. Then you need to kill them, otherwise you just don't, don't care about them. Um, maybe if you're playing, and especially if you're playing like on this more custom type uh, maps where uh, a little more that casual, uh, if you're not playing like uh, rated or with a group of friends, then just go for this, or, or especially if you're alone, just go for the objectives all the time. If you have friends or you're playing a rated, then there are more tactics. Maybe I should have like some defending and some pushing up and all that kind of stuff. But as we've seen here, they have also captured a flag now and things starting to get, get a lot, a lot int more interesting because what the enemy team did is that they had used, I think it's a rogue. It's, you will see that later on. And he was so extremely, he really knew what he was doing because when he cut the flag, he like popped all of his speed buffs. I'm, I've never played rogues, so I'm not really sure what kind of buffs they have, but he became so fast. As you can see here, up there in the corner, he can, he comes running and he's super, super fast. This time we managed to like surround him and kill him, but like the other times, look at it. He's so fast, he pops everything and he looks, he just keep running. Now this is the time we couldn't get him because he had a healer priest with him, but no one, no one of us can get it, uh, uh, up to him because he's so fast. Not even if we would pop our mounts probably and run after him, we wouldn't be able to catch up because we've had like this big cooldown uh, cast time on our mounts. So he could easily get away and put in the and uh, return the flag. And this is what he did. I think he returned all three flags and we lost the game because of this. So that's what I was meaning because I. It, w it went really well for, for us. We every uh, small encounter we had with the enemy team, we managed to win. We killed them. We uh, we got the flag, but they also did, and we didn't really focus on retrie retrieving our flag. And I should have focused more on uh, trying to either uh, go and get the flag myself, uh, defend our own flag, or kill the enemy flag carrier. If uh, uh, I'm not saying that if I did all this, we should have, uh, we would have won. But if I did, we have, would have a lot bigger chance of winning. The thing I did now was just running around and killing enemies to like get get a better score, and that's yeah, you will get a good score and it will you will look good, but you won't win games with this. Yeah, you would win some of the times, but I will say most of the times you will probably lose if the enemy team is isn't doing the same. I've seen games where where uh, the the almost the both entire teams has been standing in the middle just fighting one group and then one guy has been running around them getting the flag back running getting the flag back yeah going getting the flag back and he have won the game in like in like a couple of two three minutes uh so that's what i wanted to point out in this game uh because it's going uh it's looking on the end here i'm getting my second death here and yeah they both have the flag and Instead of me trying to do things, I'm jump, I'm jumping into a, an entire bunch of enemies, and yeah, I'm getting just slaughtered here. Uh, there's not not a lot I can do. I could pop, I could pop the blood horror and maybe something else. And the last thing I want to out before the game ends is, you always need to look back on your games to see what you could have done better. To what what could I have done to, in a better chance, won the game. Uh, that's what you need to always think about. Well, thank you all for watching. Please uh, like and subscribe. They're now going, they are going to return the last flag. Uh, if you like my video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And I will see you next time.